Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Ranger Marcus or Marcus Rareman. Uh, today we are out here herping in Butte County, the same place that we were last week. Today we're gonna be looking for the Sierra Nevada Entitino, which I have high hopes for. Uh, more slender salamanders, some Sierra Newts. I went herping this weekend and found three Sierra Newts, so we have a pretty good chance of finding one today. Um, if not, hopefully we can find some other cool stuff. Also, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support on the first YouTube video. I got way more subs and way more views than I ever thought I was gonna get. So in today's YouTube video, as I said, we're gonna be looking for some salamanders, but I also got a lot of questions in my comments um, asking what habitat I look for, what logs I look for, um, what do I do after I find an animal under a log? So we're gonna go over that too. Uh, let's get right to it. When looking for logs to flip, I find the ones that are already pressed down into the ground. Um, those logs are the ones that usually have the most space under for salamanders and other type of amphibians to go under. So logs like this, this big log, all these other logs here, they're all pressed against the ground, which makes it a lot easier for the sound managers to get into. And those are the ones that I'll most likely flip because I could flip here all day, but I don't have that much time. So I try to flip the ones that are laterally, laterally pressed to the ground. We got our first herp of the day, a baby western fence lizard. Really cool coloration there on its tail. I'm gonna pick him up real quick. There you go, baby western fence lizard. I'm gonna put this log back and keep herping. Oh, nice. We have our second western fence lizard of the day. Another, another baby. Let's pick this guy up. Oh, here's our second guy. This one looks to be a male. You can tell with the super bright colors there on the chin and on the belly, giving them the name the blue belly. Super cool. I'm going to put this log back and put this guy under. Here I got another baby western fence lizard with a red tail again. I'm going to move this guy out and put this log back. Just flipped this log and flipped a California slender salamander guys coil in this defensive pose every single time after I flip them but I'm gonna put this log back I don't really need any pictures of these guys I have way too many right now I'm gonna put this log back put them back under and keep herping so just to give you a little insight on what I do after I find one of these herps under a log we have a slender salamander right here if it'll work with me Got a slender salamander right here. If I don't want to take any pictures, I'll just put this log back. Also making sure to put it all the way back. And then take your salamander, put it right back under. It's important to put that log back and then put the animal under because if you were to do it the opposite way, then you might crush the animal. So this is just the best way to do it. Here we have our third slender salamander of the day. And here we go, we have our fourth slender salamander of the day. And now we have number five for the day. This might be a hatchling actually, this is a very small individual. Less than an inch long really, maybe an inch long. So we got the same guy we found last week, another Sierra Nevada Encetina. Main target for the day, this guy has been in this general area four weeks in a row now. This kind of happened earlier this year, uh, but I'm really glad this, this guy really likes this area. I'm gonna take some pictures of this guy and, uh, and show you a little bit more. Now here's a better look at this Sierra Nevada Encetina here. Man, these guys look like freaking aliens. Super black eyes there. The orange legs, they're just amazing creatures. 
Now, this might be a hot take and change my mind if I'm wrong, but this may be the best salamander on the West Coast. If you think another one's better, let me know in the comments. Look at the super black eyes and orange legs. Man, these guys are so cool. I'm gonna go put this guy back and I think I might be done once again herping. So now what I'll do after I've taken pictures of the animal, I'll put the log back exactly where it was. Take the individual, being this salamander, and then placing it under so that it has the exact same home that it had before. If I were to put the animal first and then the log, then it might be able to crush the animal, which is not what we want. And that's gonna wrap it up for my second YouTube video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we found a bunch of cool stuff today. We found a Sierra Nevada Encetina that you guys just saw. We found five slender salamanders and we found three baby Western fence lizards. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It's brand new, uh, more YouTube videos to come. Also like the video. And if you have any comments on what I did today, uh, let me know.